Hi everyone, Jamie Andrews here. Today we're going to dive into some exciting new Roborock releases for 2025. We'll begin with their flagship models. Roborock has bid a farewell to the S series and introduced a new flagship lineup called Seros. We'll begin taking a closer look at the Seros 10 and 10R. Following that, we'll shift our focus to the F25 series, their innovative new wet-dry vacuums. And finally, get ready for a glimpse of an incredible new Roborock robot design to tackle those heavy-duty chores so you don't have to. Before we deep dive into the specs and details, I want to mention that these are brand new products I've just received. In a follow-up video, I'll put these robots through my rigorous testing and provide my usual list of pros and cons. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to ensure you don't miss those in-depth reviews. Let's delve into the Seros 10, a direct successor to the S8 Max-V Ultra. One of the most striking features is its completely flat top. This design, combined with the RetractSense retractable LiDAR, allows the robot to achieve a height of just under 8 centimeters. When navigating under furniture, the LiDAR retracts to provide extra clearance. Even when retracted, the Seros 10 maintains the LiDAR functionality, with a 100 degree viewing angle thanks to the clever open design at the rear. The robot also boasts a comprehensive suite of sensors including front and side sensors as well as two top mounted sensors. The first top mounted sensor is a clickable bumper sensor that prevents the robot from squeezing into excessively tight spaces. Additionally, an upward facing rangefinder dynamically controls the LiDAR's vertical movement when necessary. Roborock has significantly upgraded its object avoidance system with Reactive AI 3.0. This system utilizes an RGB camera and LED light for enhanced object recognition. Instead of two structured light sensors, the Seros 10 employs three sensors, a combination of vertical and horizontal sensors, to accurately detect both ground level and elevated obstacles. Furthermore, Roborock has integrated VertiBeam on the side of the robot, which assist with the object avoidance and navigation. Several key upgrades from the recently reviewed QRevo Curve have been incorporated into the Cyros 10. Firstly, it features the innovative Duo Divide Anti-Tangle Roller Brush, which can also lift when mopping and navigating to and from the dock. Secondly, the side brush not only extends, but it now also lifts, further enhancing the cleaning efficiency. Finally, the Adapt Lift chassis allows the robot to lift all three wheels to clear thresholds up to 3 centimeters in height, and even double level thresholds up to 4 centimeters. For a detailed look of how these systems function, I've included a link to my QRevo Curve review in the description below. The dustbin has been fully redesigned in shape, but its size is the same as its predecessor at 270 milliliters. It does feature a very large filter, likely necessary to accommodate the powerful 22,000 pascals of suction generated by the vacuum motor. The vibrating mopping plate is still here, but is now upgraded to Vibrarize 4.0 with a few enhancements. Firstly, it can automatically detach at the dock when vacuuming carpets and rugs. This feature is necessary since the 20mm mop lifting ability from the S8 Max V has been significantly reduced, as you can see here, with the S8 Max-V on the left. Roborock claims it can lift 18 millimeters using the Adapt Lift system, which you'd only want to use on very thick carpets. The mop pad is 26% larger compared to the S8 Max-V Ultra, and features dual vibrating zones that vibrate at 4,000 times per minute. When heavy stains are detected, the robot lifts the front wheel to increase downward pressure on the mop pad, an intriguing idea. The small side mop remains, but it can now lift, lowering only when needed for edge cleaning. The unit is powered by a rather large 6400 milliamp battery, which supports a fast charging time of just 150 minutes. The Rocky voice assistant is also included and has recently seen some improvements. Moving on to the dock, which Roborock now calls Rock Dock 2.0, the first thing that struck me was its weight. This is largely due to the tempered frosted glass covering most of the front, giving the dock a truly premium aesthetic. The water tanks remain unchanged in size, concealed beneath a top lid for a clean look. The clean water tank holds 4 liters and the dirty water tank holds 3.5 liters. 
I appreciate the integrated dust bag door, which folds down with a single touch, to reveal a standard 2.5 liter dust bag. A dedicated detergent tank is also included. The dock sink retains the same sliding arm with a spinning brush for the mop pad cleaning, but it now boasts a higher hot water temperature of 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, Roborock claims the dock can now refill the robot's humble water tank with an impressive 158 degrees of hot water, a first for any robot that I have reviewed to date. The dock sink filter has been redesigned into a one-piece unit. While advertised as self-cleaning, it still requires occasional manual cleaning, as does the area beneath it. The side mop also has its own dedicated scrubber for washing, which is removable for cleaning. After washing, both mops are dried with hot air with an advertised temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The Seros 10 boasts impressive upgrades over the S8 Max V Ultra, but what if you prefer spinning mops to a single vibrating plate? Enter the Seros 10R. This model distinguishes itself not only by its dual spinning mopping pads, but also by its revolutionary navigation and object avoidance system, Starsight 2.0. Inspired by the Curivo Slim, Starsight 2.0 has been significantly enhanced. Maintaining the same slim 8cm profile, the Seros 10R forgoes a retractable LiDAR in favor of dual transmitter solid state LiDAR. This advanced system leverages over 21,000 sensor points and a higher sampling frequency than the traditional LiDAR. Up front, we have an RGB camera, an LED light, an infrared camera as a receiver, and two transmitters that work in concert for precise forward navigation. On the rear, there is another infrared camera that acts as a receiver along with a single transmitter. On the underside is a floor tracking sensor. This sophisticated sensor array combined with the VertiBeam lateral structured light sensor on the side creates a formidable object avoidance system. The Seros 10R can now detect and avoid over 100 recognizable objects as small as 2 cm by 2 cm. A significant improvement over the Seros 10's 3 cm by 5 cm limit. Compared to the Curivo Slim, the Seros 10R incorporates a key difference, a vertical side sensor. The optimized algorithm further enhances object detection capabilities, allowing the robot to recognize a wider range of obstacles with greater accuracy. Since the Seros 10R lacks the retractable LiDAR, it eliminates the need for a top sensor, however it retains the clickable sensor on the top of the front bumper. The dustbin on the 10R is the same size as the Seros 10 at 270 milliliters, however the filter is a bit smaller. The vacuum motor is less powerful than the Seros 10, rated at 20,000 pascals of suction. Flipping the robot over, we see many similarities to the Seros 10 including the Duo Divide Roller Brush, the Flexi Arm Liftable Side Brush, and the Adapt Lift System for clearing thresholds and furniture legs. However, the mopping system, while drawing inspiration from the Curivos, does feature some noticeable differences. Firstly, the mop pads can detach at the dock. Secondly, they offer improved lifting capabilities, reaching 10 mm for carpet and 22 mm when Adapt Lift is engaged. The mop pads are constructed from a softer material and can swing out for efficient edge cleaning, similar to the Curiva models. A new feature is called Mixed Pattern Cleaning, which slightly alters the cleaning pattern with each run for more thorough coverage. The dock for the Seros 10R shares the same tempered front glass, but with a striking mirrored-like finish instead of a frosted look. The water tanks are exposed on this dock with the clean water tank maintaining the 4 liter capacity while the dirty water tank is slightly smaller at 3 liters. The dust bag cover pops off for easy access to the standard 2.5 liter dust bag and the detergent tank. The dock sink closely resembles the Curivo Slims, featuring a fully removable two-piece design with a self-cleaning wiper system and removable filter. Unlike the Seros 10, the solid dock tray eliminates the need for cleaning inside the dock. The mopping pads are washed with the same 176 degree hot water, but specific information regarding refilling water temperature is limited. Rubber Rock mentions warm water auto-refilling, but the exact temperature remains undisclosed. 
The battery capacity is also 6400 milliamps and the dock supports fast charging of 150 minutes. In summary, the Ceros 10 appears to be the flagship model in the Ceros lineup, positioned as a direct successor to the S8 Max V Ultra. The Ceros 10R, on the other hand, seamlessly blends the best of the QRevo Slim and the QRevo Curve, while incorporating several flagship level enhancements. I'm as eager as you are to see how these two exceptional robots compare in my testing. Roborock has a new lineup of wet-dry vacuum mops called the F25 series. I have the flagship model, the F25 Ace, and I'll be putting it through all of my tests and releasing a full review video very soon. Other models being released this year include the QRevo Curve Series and Edge Series models, which lose a few features in favor of affordability. Additionally, the lineup includes the QRevo QV and QR Series, which are upgrades to the QRevo S, and the Q10 and Q7, which are upgrades to the Q series. Now let's dive into some details about the Ceros Z70. It appears to be similar to the Ceros 10R, but comes with a mechanical arm designed to pick up objects in its path and relocate them for you. I think we're venturing into a new realm of home automation with robotics and AI. I'm both thrilled and excited to see this in action and can only imagine all the useful purposes it will have. Release dates and pricing have not yet been announced as of the making of this video. As always, make sure you share, like, and subscribe to my channel, where I consistently bring you fresh, unbiased content reviews with all the good and bad so you can make wise investment choices. I'll add links to all the products in the description as soon as they become available. Be sure to keep an eye out for the Ceros and F25 reviews, and take care.